Placing emergency umbilical venous catheters, or UVCs, in a delivery room code situation is a relatively rare occurrence. However, the most reliable route of administration of life-saving medications, such as epinephrine, and fluids, such as normal saline, is the intravenous route. The umbilical vein is the most quickly accessible, direct intravenous route in the newborn. So the ability to place an emergency UVC is a skill critical to resuscitation team members. Because emergency umbilical venous catheter placement is rare, we're going to demonstrate a method called the 3 by 3 method. This method enables the learner to quickly gather or ask for the three supplies necessary to place an emergency UVC, the three steps to prepare the infant for emergency UVC placement, and the three steps to prepare the catheter for placement. This video is not meant to be a thorough review of the indications or complications of umbilical venous catheters, nor is it meant for placement of non-emergency umbilical catheters. This is an instructional video for the purposes of emergency umbilical venous catheter placement technique to ensure the resuscitator has the appropriate equipment, understands how to use the equipment, and can place a potentially life-saving catheter quickly, efficiently, and without complication. Let's get started. The three things you need to ask for or find to place an emergency UVC are, number one, the catheter, number two, the UVC tray, and number three, normal saline flush. As a brief aside, the catheter is for an emergency. Therefore, you want only a single lumen rather than the double lumen often used in the NICU to decrease your preparation time. The catheter can be either 3.5 French or 5 French. Also, the UVC tray will generally have all the other equipment you will need to place the emergency catheter. However, you should be familiar with the trays at your particular institution. The normal saline is often in the form of pre-drawn syringes, or it may be drawn from a bag of normal saline or a vial of normal saline. Again, you should be familiar with the normal saline supply in the delivery room at your institution. So, the three things you need to ask for to place the emergency catheter are the catheter, the UVC tray, and normal saline flush. After you open your tray, you will need to prepare the infant for the emergency UVC. There are three steps to preparing the infant. Clean the cord with betadine or other antiseptic solution. Tie the cord with the umbilical tape found on the tray. Cut the umbilical cord with a scalpel below the umbilical cord clamp to about one to two centimeters from the skin. Once again, the three steps to prepare the infant are clean the cord, tie the cord, cut the cord. Note that there is no time for sterile gown and glove or need for drapes in the placement of an emergency UVC, unlike the more controlled and sterile placement of non-emergent umbilical catheters. Next, you will use three steps to prepare the umbilical catheter. Number one, attach a three-way stopcock found on the tray to the catheter. Number two, attach the normal saline flush to the stopcock. And number three, flush the catheter. Once again, the three steps to prepare the catheter are attach the stopcock, attach the flush, flush the catheter. You are now ready to place the catheter in the umbilical vein, which is easily identified as the larger, more thin-walled opening in the umbilical cord. Insert about three to four centimeters until you get free flow of blood when you open the stopcock and gently aspirate. Now you are ready to administer resuscitation medications or volume expanders. You will need to be familiar with the three-way stopcock found in your umbilical catheter tray to work efficiently. To review, the three things you need to ask for to place an emergency UVC are the catheter, the UVC tray, and normal saline flush. The three steps to prepare the infant are clean the cord, tie the cord, cut the cord. 
and the three steps to prepare the catheter are attach the stopcock, attach the flush, flush the catheter. Then place the catheter to approximately three to four centimeters in the umbilical vein until free flow of blood. Another team member should be preparing epinephrine doses. Start by popping the tops, then connect the vial. Place the fluid dispensing connector or stopcock between the epinephrine and the syringe you will use to draw up the dose. Draw up 0.1 to 0.3 milliliters per kilogram of epinephrine into a 1 milliliter syringe for UVC dosing.